this video we are going to compare decimal numbers all the way to the thousandths place and order them either least to greatest or greatest to least. Always be careful to see which question you are being asked. In this example we want to order from least to greatest. Alright, so the very first step is we're going to rewrite the numbers and stack them according to the decimals. So we're going to start with this very first 8. And when you write the number 8, you have to know where is the decimal because you don't see one. And so this is the ones place. Your decimal is always to the right of the ones place. All right, so let's re rewrite this one. Stack your decimal, line them up, 8 and 1 tenth. Write this number below it, 8 and 33 thousandths and 7 and 999 thousandths and 8 and 330 thousandths. All right, so remember we're looking for least to greatest. So let's take a look at your greatest value first. Okay, we're looking at the ones place. You notice we have eights and you have a seven. So which of these is the least value? It's a seven, isn't it? All right, so that's this starting off, that's, that's an easy one. So we're going to write seven and 999 thousandths and that is our least number. And you can cross it off knowing that we're finished with that one. Now let's look for the next least number. Move over to your tenths place. You're looking at three, a zero, a one, and nothing. Nothing means zero, doesn't it? Fill in the hole so that you can compare now. Now we know that these two right here are the next least numbers, but we've got to decide which one of the two would go next. So move over to your hundredths place and notice you're comparing the three versus nothing again. And three versus nothing is just a zero, isn't it? So your whole number eight will go next. When you write the number, go back to the way it was written in your original problem and it's just your whole number eight. We can cross that off. Now we already know which number is going to go next because we were comparing the two, right? So here's your next number. 8 and 33 thousandths. Cross it off. Now we've got two last numbers to compare. We see that the 8's are the same. Now we're looking at the tenths place, 3 versus a 1 in the tenths place. Which one's least? Of course, the one. All right, so here's your number, eight and one tenth. Cross it off, and your last one, just rewrite the number next in line. Always go back when you finish and check. Do I have one, two, three, four, five numbers? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five and always look back at the question and make sure you've answered the question least to greatest. So in this example, we have a lot of fives, don't we? We want to compare them and put them in least to greatest value. So we want to write them over and let's start with the first one, five decimal one, five and one tenth. The next one is five and one hundredth and five and one thousandth and then just the whole number five and we know the whole number five is here because this is where your decimal would be. All right so we want to order these from least to greatest. Notice that we're starting with all fives okay and in order to compare these we've got to move over to the next place value which is the tenths place. So we're comparing a one, a zero, and a zero, and nothing which is the same as a zero. 
So when you look, we know that zero is less than one. So let's compare these three, these right here. Let's move over to the hundredths place. We're gonna compare a one, a zero, and nothing again, all right? So we know that zero is less than the one in the hundredths place. But now these have to be compared because now we still don't know which one is greater between these two. Move over to the thousandths place and you're comparing the one versus a zero. And zero is less than one in the thousandths place. So your whole number five, which is here, is your least number. So we'll go back and we'll write it as our first number. It is your least number. We can cross it off and continue. All right, so now we know that we're looking at these two numbers because we see that we have zeros in the tenths place and now we can compare the hundredths place versus the um, hundredths place in this number and one is greater than a zero, all right? So your next least number is your number here, which is five and one thousand, all right? So cross it off. Your next number is th the one that you were comparing this one with, which is five and one hundredth, and then the last number, which is, has the greatest value, is five and one-tenth. So, although 5.1 may appear to be a shorter number, it has the greatest value. And we know that by comparing your greatest value and then your next greatest value and your next and next. All right, so let's check and see. One, two, three, four numbers. And we have one, two, three, four, and we ordered them from least to greatest. Here's our last example. Do you notice something different about it? So on this one, we're asked to compare these and put them in order from greatest to least. All right, so let's be careful with that. Let's stack the numbers, put the decimal numbers, 68 and 999 thousandths, 68 and 9 tenths, 69 and 5 tenths, 69 and 499 thousandths, and 69 and 501 thousandths. All right. So remember, the question is asking us to go from greatest to least, okay? Greatest to least. So we want to start with our greatest value regardless. The sixes are all the same. We move to the ones place. We see that nine, 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 and, and the eights. Well, we know that nine is greater than eight, right? So we know that one of these three with the nine is going to be the greatest value. We've got to go over though to the tenths place to compare. You're looking now at the tenths place. You have a five, a four, and a five, okay? Well, which one's greater, five or four? Five is greater, isn't it? So now we're gonna compare these two numbers, all right? in order to figure out which one is greater of the two, you've got to move over to the next place value. And we're now comparing the zero to nothing. And nothing means the same thing as zero, right? So we still have to go over an additional place to the thousandths place. Now we're comparing the one versus nothing. Which one of the two of these has the greatest value? one is greater than zero. So here is our number that we will write first. 69 and 501 thousandths. So we can cross that one off. Now, 
We know that this is our next number because we were comparing the two of these, right? So let's write that one down. 69 and 5, and that's how 5 tenths, that's how this one was written. Okay, and we're finished with that one. Now we can continue. Go back to your last three numbers, and if you get mixed up, you can go back and look. Okay, the six is the same, eight, eight, nine. Oh, okay, so you know that nine is greater than the eights in your ones place. So here is your next number because it has greater value than your 68s here. So here is your next number, 69 and 499 thousandths. Cross it off. So now we're left with the two numbers. Let's compare 68, they're the same. Move over to the tenths place, nine, it's the same. Move over to the hundredths place, and nine compared to nothing, which is zero, nine is greater, isn't it? So this number on top has a greater value, and so you write that one next, 68 and 990, nine thousandths, and cross it off. And now we know which one has the least value. 68 and 9 tenths. All right, so that's our last one. Check. One, two, three, four, five numbers. One, two, three, four, five numbers. And make sure you've answered the question greatest value to least value.